how to download the file in Windows like systems with Ansible, I'm going to show you a live demo and some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about Ansible module win underscore get underscore URL. The full name is ansible.windows.win underscore get underscore URL, which means that is part of a collection of module of Ansible to interact with Windows Node. It downloads file from HTTP, HTTPS or FTP to Node. For Linux targets, use the ansible.builtin.com dot get underscore url ansible module instead. The parameter of the win underscore get underscore url module. The two required parameters are url and destination that are more or less the same as get underscore url. The url parameter specify the url of the resource you are going to download. The test parameter specify the file system path where the resource is going to be saved on the target node. Let's deep dive in the force parameter. If test is a file, Ansible is going to download every time the file. If test is a directory, the default behavior is not to replace a file until you toggle to yes the force parameter. The parameter checksum is very useful to validate the consistency of the download file. You could specify the algorithm under checksum algorithm, default is SHA1, but you can customize with the most common one and directly the checksum or the checksum URL under the checksum underscore URL. So pretty intuitive. Another interesting parameter is headers that allow you to specify some custom HTTP headers. Ansible present itself as ansible-http-get in the web server logs but you could customize in the HTTP underscore agent parameter. There are also additional parameters, for example, for client certificate authentication X509 PFX, and also enterprise users could also specify the proxy setting parameter. This could be useful. But demo time, how to download a file in Windows-like system with Ansible Playbook? Are you excited? Let's have fun! Welcome to my demo Windows machine. As you can see, this machine is a pretty fresh with nothing on the desktop side. Just to double check, let me click on desktop and you could see that this folder is empty, so which means that no files are present here. And I will show you the magic that Ansible will create the file and also validate the checksum. So let's move to the editor. Welcome to my editor. I will show you one simple playbook to download a file in Windows. First of all, let's start our YAML document with three dash and then our play with a name win underscore get underscore url module demo then it is going to be execute against inventory host all and become is set to false because uh, we don't need uh, this privilege escalation in windows let me define some handful variable let's start with my url and let me copy and paste uh, the url of one example file so let me take, for example, Ansible 
table. And let me specify also the checksum, so is the same URL dot SHA, that is the URL of the fingerprint. Uh, my CRC algorithm will take care of the signing algorithm SHA 256, here we go, and the destination will be the file system path on the target machine where to save. So under C, users and the name of my user is Vagrant and let me specify also the desktop here we go and let me copy and paste the file name so because I don't want to rename the file but basically you can type whatever you want I prefer to maintain the same one here we go now let's start with rock and roll so task list only one named download file that is going to use the module ansible.windows.win underscore get underscore url url will be the value of my url here we go and now let's specify destination that will be the value of my dest what else oh the checksum of course so let me specify checksum, yes I need to write in the proper way, checksum underscore algorithm is so long. <laughs> that will be the value of my checksum, my CRC algorithm value and checksum underscore URL will be the value of my CRC variable. Yes, auto completion. So as you can see in 16 line of code I'm able to download the file, verify the checksum and save whatever I want in the Windows file system. You can customize with a variable whatever you want, of course. Let's move on to my terminal because I would like to execute this code. So ansible dash playbook is the command line, dash e will be the, my inventory file under virtual machine, win inventory and then my playbook inside the download file directory. Here we go, the execution will be faster in my case because my connection is super fast and this file is not uh, so huge. Under the scene, Ansible is downloading the file, verifying the uh, checksum and saving in the destination that we specified. What happens if we execute again the same command? Let's find out. I'm expecting this command to be hidden potent, so to receive one OK status and no changed. And here we go. The changed means that some operation were performed on the target machine, OK means no further action. So let me verify on the target machine. Here we are again in my demo machine. So this video was recorded while the Ansible playbook was running. So be prepared because inside this folder and on the desktop, as you can see, the file ansible.tar.gz appears. And here we go, it's great! 13 megabyte of file is present on our hard drive, perfectly verified with a checksum. So good job Ansible, you are the best tool! Now you know how to download the file in Windows-like system with Ansible. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up, write the comment and subscribe for the next one and see us on the next IT adventure on Ansible Pilot and have a great day, yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video 
and so much fun.